Dare to bap. All right, what's up and what's good, YouTube, the World Wide Web? As you guys can see, man, it's your host with the most, Paul Cantu, and today um, I actually just got a knock on the door. And um, I received a giant parcel, it's at my feet right now. So we're gonna hit some thrifts, and um, basically today, I'm gonna try and build outfits based off of what is inside this giant box. And yes, this thing is humongous. All right guys, so here's the giant box that your boy actually got sent. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and actually cut it open, see what's inside, and base today's thrift fits off of what we reveal is up in here. So let's go ahead and crack into it. Um, in typical form and fashion, I have Trish the blonde haired bitch with me, and uh, we're just gonna cut this guy. Dang, that was actually like a knife through butter. All right. Oh my goodness. This box is so huge. Oh, and it came with my favorite box accessory. Bubble wrap. Oh, so sick, dude. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this box is so huge. Check it out. Alright man, first and foremost, shout out to the fine folks at Puma. Dude, this is one of the most incredible packages I think I've ever gotten. And I'm so blessed and fortunate that Puma actually does hook it up with gear. That's why I had to rock this vintage uh, Puma crew neck I found live in the thrifts. Um, but yeah dude, this box is absolutely incredible. It says Puma hoops in this nice like textured um, font. There's an 8 bit um, map depiction of the city of Detroit. Oh, let's just crack into what is actually inside. Oh my god. All right, so we got two pairs of shoes. The first one is the Palace Guard 1989. So uh, just check out these kicks, dude. Oh my god. All right, so um, let me give you guys a little bit of backstory to these. Now, um, when Puma hit me up and told me about this like deal, I was really excited because these are the shoes that Isaiah Thomas actually used to wear. Captain number 11, Isaiah Thomas! And um, I remember watching back in the day as a kid, 30 for 30 about the Detroit Bad Boys. And Isaiah Thomas was the point guard of their team. They were just like rough, rugged, and raw. They were crazy cold um, in the 80s and they absolutely ran it. And these shoes are what Isaiah Thomas wore in the palace, which was uh, Detroit's arena. Price has his pocket picked by Isaiah. And these are just dumb clean. They have the colors of the Pistons. You have the blue of the little Puma logo. You, of course, have the red, some navy, blue, a white upper, and on the tongue. This detail is crazy. You have the fat basketball with the Puma just jumping through it. Just an absolutely clean shoe. The back texture definitely is that of the 80s. It almost is like a towel soft, like velour um, type of hybrid fabric. Very sick. Puma on the back with the cat branding. And it actually has this little like tab that um, some other sneakers derive inspiration from. So just know your history, you dig? Oh man, these shoes are just so crazy. The bottom of them also is wavy. They have like the white waves, the blue bottoms, Puma branding. And these kicks are just iconic. And I love old school 80s, early 90s looking gear. So I definitely am excited about these shoes. Now, um, there's some crazy pictures of like Isaiah Thomas rocking and shocking these, um, which I think are sick. Like here's a little montage of his like fits. And I just love the tube socks, the like tanks over polos, just the crazy like 80s style. He was actually getting chased down by Jordan rocking these shoes. Um, dude, it's just so sick to like see an old school kick be brought back to life. So I definitely appreciate Puma for these. And if you guys want them, of course, there's a link down below. So check them out. Um, I'm very gracious to you guys and Puma for of course blessing me with these shoes. And these are actually what we're gonna predominantly be basing today's thrift fits off of. And so I'm very excited to actually find a bunch of Puma or other 90s and 80s related gear to build some fits off of this. Um, and we also have a revamp of this shoe, which is the Uproar Puma Guard, and that is what's included in this second box. And I'm just, guys, so thankful and grateful. And uh, let's crack into this guy. Ooh, boom. All right, this one has a nice little note. Hey, Paul, introducing Uproar Palace 
uproar. Wow, palace guard, a tribute to the 90s. Don't flinch. Oh shit. All right, so let's get into it. Oh my God, okay. A complete reworking of the original, again, white uppers, sick lacing system. Oh man, I love the speckles on the outsole. Big blue Puma branding. These are just very clean. Definitely a more athletic, modern vibe to these guys. So we'll probably come up with some athletic fits for these as well. But these being so similar to the original Palace Guards, it's actually cool. That means you could like easily interchange these. And these definitely are something that are more uh, performance based, which is sick. But without further ado, guys, let's lace up the uh, palace guards and get out in these trenches and find some fits. Let's get it, dude. Let's get it. Our class. So we're live in the first store right now. So this is gonna be a little bit different. Um, number one, because this is a Puma sponsored video. Um, all the gear we're gonna find is gonna predominantly be unbranded, like essential pieces, or of course that Puma life, you dig? So um, in this Goodwill, we're gonna peruse, see about finding some stuff where I'll low key look like Isaiah Thomas in the 80s. So I'm talking polos, short shorts, long socks, windbreaker pants, all types of like vintage late 80s, early 90s aesthetics all up in here so let's go ahead and get to it baby all right man so the first find uh was picked up by kinky Look, i just want to say you can be whatever you want to be in this world because we are choose who to be great find dude all right man so um i found this great accessory this usa vintage beanie with a ball glow on the top so uh, that definitely goes with the kicks. So um, I'm gonna grab this for potential fits and hell for this one too. Let's do it. Yeah, it is nice. That's real nice. All right guys, um, so, so the section we're in now is what I was most excited about and it's like the short slash like pants section and I found these sick little 75% um, off short shorts that'll go great with the we are choose who to be shirt um so yeah that's just a eloquent fit right there so i guess i am gonna walk out with something different on um whether this is ideal or not you guys can decide i don't think so but this is just the first store of uh many to come what are y'all working on making a little video of um this Lovely fit I put together in Goodwill. Wearing it. It's not more than you. Do you like it? I, yeah, but for what you're going for? Yeah, do you think it fits me well? Oh, well, pretty perfect. Actually. Perfectly? I love the hat. Oh, it's rolling. Yeah. You like the hat, the shoes, and the shirt? Oh, and the socks. It kind of all works. Imagine? It all works. It also has this great message. It says, we are shoes who to be. You like that? Yeah. Do you get... Then you got your chain now. Yeah. With your cap. So I got a little something, something. Yeah, my, my kneecaps are showing. It's fine. Yep. Short shorts and everything. You got that weather. No. Yeah. Bye. <laughs> Yeah, the Pumas. What do you think of the Pumas? What do you think? I'm a Puma girl, so I'm into it. You're a Puma girl? I am. It looks like you're wearing a cheetah, though. What are those? What's oh, up with that? I need mean my shoes and my backpacks. Oh, your backpacks are Puma? Ma'am. Oh, my God. Oops, I'm sorry. Yeah, we're Puma life out here. Oh, yeah, me too. Yeah. So, a 1 to 10 scale, how would you rate the fit? 10. 10? Oh, yeah. Ma'am, can you take your phone? Alright. <laughs> Alright guys, so we pulled up to the next spot, which is the um, a family thrift outlet. 
So uh, I put on my original fit just because I want to have a nice empty base to build up some different fits off of. So we're going to see what other little items we can find in here. Hopefully some pants and a variety of accoutrements as well. Yo man, um, looking no further, I think I got a full fit right here. The plain gray crew neck and the plain gray sweatpants. Nice. Yo, whose man's is this? <laughs> this guy looking like a straight up villain. All right guys, so I found a couple like uh, little subtle pieces that may work with something. You have the really old school like uh, color block tank top. I could layer that over something and really pull off that Isaiah Thomas tank top over a polo shirt look. <laughs> I also found a uh, essential vintage denim jacket. These are always cool and it does have the hoodie sewn in to the denim. So that's a nice little piece to layer with right there. So working with a couple simple sexy pieces right hither. That's what I like to see, man. That's what I'm looking for. Guys, I think I finally found the piece, man. I think I finally found that vintage piece that will go boom, baby. You got this tie-dye Monte Carlo vintage racing tee look at this man peep the matchability we got going on yes that is a word now you have the orange of the shoe the orange of the letters you have the blue of course the red blue and red the white the white of the tie-dye this ties it all together also man i failed to mention this in my initial review but i love the natural yellowing you got on the outsole god that's a clean little aesthetic choice yeah this is it chief this is it all right guys so i just plucked off uh this t-shirt out the rack and this is like a dumb clean vintage tee right here um it is single stitch it's the st louis sun which i assume is a, a newspaper tee um it has this giant orange ball which kind of goes with the orange ball of the shoe i think this would be really sick underneath the denim jacket and then you have a whole nice little fit going on right there then the like off-white with the off-white of the outsole yeah yeah that's clean all right guys now comes the challenge man found a couple viable t-shirt options and now i need to find pants that work i mean there is a whole lot of pants to go through gotta find length size and style let's do it all right class so after going through a million and one pants the only pair that i uh actually came away with are the zipper ankle clasp all black windbreaker pants you never can go wrong with them um i think they're a kids xl but i got that skinny boy waist so i'm just happy to finally cover up the kneecaps be a little bit more classy and sassy and uh walk out in a couple brand new fits let's check them out and here we go ladies and gentlemen welcome to thriftoria's secret fashion show first fit we have up is rocked and shocked by paul can too look at this guy dusting off the short too short for his long arm sleeves of the denim jacket oh he's taking it off he is stripping look at that st louis sun tee that is beautiful what does it match oh the puma kicks oh man socks tucked into the pants he's styling he's profiling he is layered ready to slay her peace out haters damn right daddy he's walking away from you guys oh what's that uh psych he's going going and gone Woo! look at that energy baby fit number two is the tie-dye racing tee up trip and he is absolutely wet in this tie-dye fit he's smiling he's happy and he is stunning oh slap the paws together baby get a nice little detail with those kicks look at those socks and the pants oh he's swole oh, salute forget it words of wisdom from paul can too as he exits the premises what is that oh the bust down bust down tatiana he's a rock star and he's gone yeah and we back baby all right guys so if you enjoyed this video Please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe as per the usual. Um, big shout out to Puma for actually blessing me with these shoes. I did take a couple of little fit picks 
in the kicks with a little kinky. So here's a better representation of what they look like on feet when I'm not goofing around in the thrift store. But yeah, man, if you guys enjoyed this video, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Again, I appreciate you guys for watching. I appreciate Puma. If y'all are interested, of course, a link is conveniently in the description. But peace and love. Live the dream. Eat that ice cream. I am a lot and loaded, and I'm gone. See ya. Killing these songs, leaving a bloody life, I roost them. And I'm in it to win it, so I'm somebody that you should get used to.